So you want to get into some programming and you don't know where to start. Well, this is a video that I'm going to make on Greenfoot programming, which is really programming using the Java programming language. And Greenfoot is essentially a development environment where you can make uh, quick interactive games. Um, so it's really learning Java programming through gaming, which is exactly what we're looking for. Uh, so to get yourself started, all you have to do is just Google Greenfoot, and then you'll see a whole bunch of stuff here. Obviously, you want download, and then you click on the version that you want, and then you're going to download it. It's pretty simple, straightforward. I would download this one. It comes in, and I'm just going to double-click and run the installer. And when I'm done, I have Greenfoot. That's, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to cancel that. Uh, the latest version as of this video on December, well, today is March 24th, but uh, as of December 6, 2019, you want versions 3.6.1, which is important because you do want to stay current with the latest versions so that what you write will work on the latest software. Um, so when you eventually install Greenfoot, this is what it looks like when you open Greenfoot and you haven't done anything yet. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to Scenario. So I'm going to make a new scenario. Um, just a word of importance here. When you open up a, you know, if I'm going to go down here and make a, a Microsoft Word file, what I'm doing is I'm making one single file. But with Greenfoot, I'm making a game where things are going to interact with each other. And so I'm not just making one file. I'm making what we call in Greenfoot a scenario. So I'm going to go up to Scenario. I'm going to hit New Java Scenario. That's important too. Don't hit the top one. That's a whole other thing. We don't want that. And it's going to say, all right, uh, where do you want to put your scenario, which is really just a bunch of files. And I'm going to put it on my desktop. And what I'm going to do is we're going to run through Space Invaders. So I'm going to go Space Invaders. OK. And now what you'll see is it turns into what looks to be kind of a, a white rectangle. And what you want to do is think of this like if you were an artist, this is your canvas. This is what you're going to put things on. And what we do in Greenfoot is we put actors into worlds. And so this is my stage or my canvas, whatever you want to think of it. I think the official name is stage. And then over here is where I'm going to create things and, and put them into my world and make a game. And you notice that I put it on the desktop. So if I show you my rather messy desktop right now, you should see, sorry about that. Here's a folder called Space Invaders. Okay. And so this is where all of my files live. And you can see I haven't done anything yet, but it's already made me some things. There's a my world uh, file here, .java, uh, a class file that you'll learn about later and then images and sounds. And so everything I do is going to be saved into here. And so if I want to take this from place to place and work on it, I have to transfer this whole folder, not just one file. All right, let's go back to Greenfoot. And what I want to do is I want to take, well, I want to put something in the world. And since we're going to be making space invaders, um, one thing we need is a hero. So I'm going to click here on actor. I'm going to go new subclass and it's going to say, okay, what would you like to put into the world? Um, here, I'm going to pick out something that can act as my hero. Now I'm going to pick anything I want. You can see there's a whole bunch of pictures. Uh, it doesn't really matter at this point what I pick because I'm going to change it later to be, you know, the, the true hero from Space Invaders, the spaceship that I want. So uh, like I said, it doesn't matter. If you scroll around, you can see all the different things. So um, we'll make our hero this dude right here. How about that? You're a hero, dude. And up here, we're going to type hero because that's the class that we're making. And you can see that nothing happened. But if you click on the hero and hold down the shift button, and then you go into your in, on your stage. If you click, hey, now you can put a hero there. You can put as many as you want on the screen at a time. Lots and lots of fun. And then if I hit run, nothing happens because I haven't done anything yet. But that's 
kind of how it works. I, I create actors and I can put them into the world. And the first actor I've made is a hero. And the other thing I want you to note right now is that you can see that hero, it says extends actor. What that means is in Greenfoot, um, kind of the base library that Greenfoot gives you involves these things called actors. And actors have abilities. And so this means that hero is going to be able to do everything an actor can do plus whatever we code in here. And hero has what we call methods, and you'll learn more about that later. Uh, and actor inherits all those methods. So one of those methods is move. And if I say move bracket 5, like so, oops, with a semicolon at the end, um, the semicolon is necessary to end the line. It means I'm done this instruction. And this means I'm going to move 5 pixels. And if I click off of the line, notice down here it says class compiled, no syntax errors. That means that's the computer's way of saying, hey, I get it. I understand that instruction. If I were to forget the semicolon, now the computer says, whoa, I don't know what's going on here. Error found. But it does because it gives you a little red line there and tells you, hey, you need a semicolon. So I put it back. And now, again, nothing's there until I click on the hero, hold down shift, put the hero in the world. And now watch what happens when I run. All right. Why is it moving? Well, it's moving because we told it to. We told it to move five pixels for every act cycle. The act cycle is running in the background all the time. And so act is kind of a forever. So what we've told the hero to do is forever move five pixels. So one more time, hero. As soon as we, well, here's, we can run one act cycle by clicking this. You can see he just moved five pixels. And if we want to run the game forever and just run those act cycles continuously, when we hit run, we should just move forever. There we go. The last thing I want to show you in this video before we get too far, in my world, you can also go into the my world, and this is the world code. So we have actors and we have worlds. Hero is an actor in the world. My world is a world that we are working in. So just like a hero inherits stuff from the actor, the my world here, this is our world, it inherits stuff from what we call world. And again, these are not things we need to worry about yet, but just keep them in mind as we go. So we are making subclasses of world and subclasses of actor, and we're using them to make a game. So here, what we want to do is note that there's one line of code in here that we didn't write. This is another thing that Greenfoot gives you kind of for free. And what it means is we're going to make a world that is 600 by 400 with a cell size of 1 by 1 pixels. And you can see all I'm doing is reading this right here, which is what we call a comment. This is Greenfoot people uh, putting a comment in here, letting us know exactly what this line does. However, one thing that you can do with this, if you put comma false here, put the hero back into the world, and run it, you'll notice there's a slightly different behavior. And if you want to see it the other way, again, if I take the false out and run it again, notice that the hero stays on the world. And this is an example of what we call a constructor. Um, when I include the false, I'm telling the world to essentially create a window where things can leave the screen. If I don't include that, now things cannot leave the screen. So just a slight difference. So what you've learned is kind of exactly how Greenfoot is laid out. You've learned what a world is. This is our world. It's pretty boring. Uh, you've learned what actors are. We made one. And in the next video, we're going to learn how to control our hero using the keys.